So first things first, where can you work? Which type of industries will you be working for? Mm -hmm. And these are not ordered in according how well they adapt to chemical engineers. Rather, I just ranted and imagined myself on the different industries I've heard my friends or colleagues worked on, on which other areas are common. So let's check it out. First, obviously, the chemical industry. What does this imply? Is creation of chemicals, most likely industrial chemicals such as chlorine or maybe bases. Creation of acids. Sulfuric acid is one of the most important ones. Hydrochloric acid as well. Creation of ammonia for reaction. Ammonia is a very convenient gas. It's a basic in solution. So you have it here. I mean, there are plenty of chemicals that are used. So these are the, let's say, the bulkiest one, but you can find much more. If you're interested, you should check uh, largest chemical by, uh, how do you say, by production. Then comes oil and gas. And when I say oil and gas, I actually mean all the oil and gas industry. You can work in the extraction of petroleum. You can work in the exploration for petroleum pits. You can work on offshore, onshore, uh, gas, uh, transportation through pipelines, you can work on oil transportation, logistics, you can be even working in petrochemical companies, converting the oil into gasoline, plastics, asphalts, kerosene, etc. Talking about plastics, typically oil and gas is one thing and polymer and plastic technology is another one. So these are much more the so-called fine chemistry in which they focus in the applications of the plastic so for example textiles even though clothing is so i won't say no one will think that we are using technology in clothing but yes we are actually we are looking for uh, clothing that looks cool clothing that will maintain uh, more time the colors or the colorants clothing that will be lighter easy to wet uh, to dry when wet and so on so there are plenty of technologies for polymers. What else can you find? Uh, if you're in the biomed uh, places, they will definitely ask you about polymers which can be adapted to humans, maybe tissues and so on. There's a lot of technology that can be found on polymer. Coating and paintings, well, maybe I hate it because plenty of people think this is just for the color, but it's also for the protection and also for plenty of things, mostly protection, how to coat something, avoid rusting, avoid how corrosion will go inside. Imagine the, your house, why do you see some spots in the painting? Why are they accepting, uh, I don't know, this fungi and so on? That is definitely due to the painting, how it was prepared and so on. Cement and building material, well, this is most likely uh, like ca calcium carbonate or sodium carbonate and so on are used in order to build um, structures you need good materials and not only good ones you need to the the main thing here is to know which materials are going to increase durability strength uh, and all those force how to say all those properties that are important in, when building Food and beverage, I'm not going to start with, but food essentially, how to add conservatives, how to increase uh, the durability on package, beverage, how to add carbonatation, how to f add, do fermentation, and so on. Agrochemical, as the name implies, are chemicals used in agriculture. So this is one of the largest industries because we know that in the rural areas, we need to expand farming. So how do you do that? adding chemicals, either pesticides, either fertilizers, or whatever you can imagine that can be added into the crops, they are done in agrochemicals. Industrial gases, argon, xenon, oxygen, which is used in combustion or maybe even in the hospitals and so on. Fine chemicals, what do I mean with this is very specific chemicals, for instance, catalyst, maybe even very important, uh, glues or so technical chemicals that the aerospace materials and so on pharma you already know it medicines how to improve the uh, quality of life via health 
cleaning materials such as soap, detergents, and so on. Once again, maybe you think this is not that uh, urgent or not that important, but actually it is. If you were to create a detergent which is environmental friendly and that you don't need to use that much water and that it's, it always smells better and so on, that will be like gold for moms and even mostly people that use detergent stuff. Ceramics and glassware, sorry, I'm missing one S. Well, this is most likely, I, I like to separate it from coatings and paintings and from metals because ceramics are a very different topic to talk about. They are used for building mostly, also for pottery and so on. Glassware, well, you know, glass. Glass is used steel. Right now, maybe these bottles are from glass. Also, the glass that you use on your eye glassware, the glass that you use on your car, the glass that you use in your windows. So yeah, you can probably imagine plenty of glass present right now. Now we talked about textiles previously, and now we're going to talk about colorants, how to improve those. Well, we already talked about that. Let's skip it. Energy production, how to increase the efficiencies, what fuels to use, environmental issues with that, and so on. Water treatment and purification, well, that's an ongoing and growing uh, branch of chemical engineering because water treatment, as we use water, we are contaminating, polluting water. So we need to treat it in order to use it industrially or for drinking, that will be purification. And finally, but not least, and yet there are plenty to go, um, just uh, wrote some of the most important and relevant ones are mining and metallurgy so it is very important to know that eventually metals are either oxides or they have plenty of other metals in their chemical composition and what you want to do is to know electrochemistry in order to favor the reduction into a very beautiful metal such as iron or copper not copper oxide not copper sulfide no 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 I mean copper alone. So these are the main industries you can work. If you have some doubts, you can always check out on Wikipedia and ask or Google it. It's very easy to find a lot of industries. Those are the most common ones. And from now on, guys, try to uh, picture whenever you see a product, try to imagine if a chemical engineer was working there, which industry was it and how many industries are there present.